Good afternoon, welcome to Fishing for Bees, March 25th. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, it's 64 degrees. So we got a lot of activity here at the holding yard. These are the late season swarm catches that needed the most work. Most babysitting to survive the winter, so we keep them in a different yard that's easier to access than the production bees. So I can see a ton of pollen going in on that middle one and uh, good activity at both of them. But the question is, with our recent several winter again events here in Michigan where we have beautiful spring weather and then we drop down into the 20s for several days and at least evening temperatures, you know, what's left in the environment? Was there a hard enough freeze that it killed off everything that's available to them as far as nectar? Nectar is my biggest concern. I mean, I can see here on the bottom board that just an absolute ton of activity and lots of pollen. Pollen's not your issue. In the past, I've fed pollen patties um, and I'm learning more and more thanks to other people that in this area, I probably don't need to be feeding pollen patties and it's just a waste of money. So we're gonna try this year without pollen patties. I don't think I need to boost any brood production this year. I think nature did that for me. So I'm gonna show you something that I'm using to test the environment to see if there's anything here in my area as far as a nectar source for these bees. Again, that's my most important thing right now is a nectar source for these bees. Pollen's not an issue, but they will starve if they don't have the honey and the nectar. So let me take a break and I'll show you what I've done to test the area. So here we are back to the canoe. So one quick thing, why the canoe? Uh, because it's got the curved sides and it's not easy for skunks to climb or other pests to get up here and mess with what I'm doing. So here's the test that I did before the last spring or winter again vent here in Michigan. I put this out, it does have Hive Alive in it. This is just a simple poultry feeder and the bees ignored it all before that last cold break. And you can see that they are pretty much ignoring it now. I mean, one bee, actually two of them fighting is what we saw. So this tells me that there is nectar in the environment. These couple are being opportunistic and frankly being a little bit lazy, but if there is nectar available in the environment, they're going to ignore this. And I call it pretty much ignoring it. Um, we'll see tomorrow if it picks up. We'll see if the activity picks up here. That'll tell you that there is not nectar in the environment. If this was the way it was just a couple weeks ago when we robbed out some honey supers here, I'm sorry, some brood frames here that I wanted to use for my swarm traps. They robbed out six frames in a day. So it's close enough in the area of the yard I was just in for the bees to get here. And it's just a simple test. They will choose natural. They will choose nectar before they choose any artificial source. Now, if this was above their heads in the colony, such as liquid syrup above their heads to, or a frame feeder or something like that, you might have a different outcome. But judging by the activity at the colony there, in and out, pollen, frantic, foraging and what's going on here. Although not visible in the yards or on the hills or in the woods, <laughs> somewhere they're getting a nectar source because they're ignoring this. Thanks for watching. I hope your bees are well.